Yo, 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 it's your boy Nick Che. Today we're doing a pack with me because I've just wrapped up midterms and I'm heading home for spring break. Thank God, because I can't wait to be in some warm weather. So today I'm just gonna be going through the types of clothes that I'm gonna be bringing just to you know stay functional and stay fashionable while I'm at home. And yeah, let's just jump into it. I have most of my stuff set out, so I'll just be pretty quick about it. All right, so first off, obviously pants. Um, even though it is going to be probably a little bit warm in Texas, I still like to wear jeans um, and long pants when I can. So number one are these black denim pair from Banana Republic. They are called the Traveler. And the reason that I really enjoy these black denim pants is that they're very comfortable and very flexible, meaning that you can constantly wear them and break them in um, without worrying about leaving any stains or anything like that. I think the quality of my Levi jeans are a little bit better, but when I'm using these on the day to day, then I'm probably going for this pair right here. Um, probably just my Adidas joggers, just to stay comfortable whenever I need to go work out or something, just an easy pair of um, joggers to be relaxed in. You guys have seen these pants before. They're the pinstripes. Um, they're also cropped at the bottom and they're just a really functional and fashionable piece that will be really light in the springtime. So obviously going with this one as well. And finally, just my regular black um, cropped trousers. You guys have seen these as well. These are honestly so fire. Now, as far as my suitcase, I've mentioned it before, but this is the Away suitcase. It's the medium carry-on size, and honestly, this is a lifesaver. I actually asked for it for my birthday present last year because I was starting to travel a lot, and having a nice, functional, fashionable, good-looking suitcase is, like, super important. So, Away, medium, plus, please sponsor me, honestly. The great thing about it is that they have these like compression straps, meaning that you can compress your clothes down so you can fit a lot more stuff in. So I'll show you guys when it's all done, but I wasn't planning to do a whole lookbook, but let me just put these on so you guys can see what they look like. But like this, this shirt's pretty fire. Um, I got it in Korea a few years ago and it's honestly super fashionable. Gives it a very spring summery vibe. I should do a spring lookbook, honestly. I'm actually running a, please tell me I'm recording. Next up is this pinstriped overshirt. I've worn this a few times before. Honestly, this shirt's like one of my favorite shirts ever because it's just so fly, like. I'm probably bringing home this H&M button up. The thing I like to do when I do go home is probably bring home clothes that I don't tend to wear at school. So I have a little bit more options while I'm home and that way I can clear up my closet and have some more space. So I haven't worn this a ton, so I'm just gonna keep it at home. Um, next up, the CDG sweater. I got it, but it was actually running a little bit small. So I'll probably take it home to give to my brother. Same thing with this Adidas bomber jacket. Like honestly, this jacket is super fire, but once again, I've kind of been growing. So a lot of my stuff um, hasn't been fitting anymore. So good thing I have a younger brother who's my size now. So let me pack this up real quick. All right, last few things. I just need to pack some toiletries. So obviously my face toner and my face lotion. All this is going straight into my dob kit, which I mentioned before, but it's just like a toiletry bag that you can use to bring home. I'm also going to probably bring home my Dior Sauvage just because I want to try out my new cologne at home. Obviously toothbrush, retainers. Now, one thing I am starting to realize about traveling more is that you kind of want to have stuff left at home so that you don't always have to be bringing stuff back and forth. So, you know, keeping like a face washing kit or lotion or toothbrushes at home so you already have everything. You don't need to be packing that every time you leave for college is a huge must have tip. I just like to use these little small bags to just organize my luggage a little bit easier. Um, so I'll probably put my underwear and socks in here. Obviously, I'm going to be bringing my belts, and honestly, I'm just going with these two combinations because, like I said, you can mix and match them, so I can change out the belts and the buckles to have, you know, four different combinations, so this is honestly pretty fire. So if you can see right here, this is those compression straps I was talking about, so you kind of strap them over like this. And then you pull, and then you pull them, and they just compresses all your luggage so it's all nice and compact there. And this side is probably where I'll put my jackets and whatnots. So they just lay in there like that. This will go right here. Oh my God, a perfect luggage compartment. Nothing more satisfying than that, honestly. Zip it all up. Boom, that was a lot faster than I expected. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Obviously going to be packing my laptop, my laptop charger, my camera equipment that I need to go pack right now. Alright, it's time for me to pack a little bit of my camera gear. So for any gearheads who just want to know what I'm going to be shooting on. Primarily, obviously the Sony a7R 3 with actually, no. Right now I'm filming on the Sony a7 III. I'm going to use this for photos this time because I haven't used this and I want to try it out a bit more. Um, so I'll probably be taking that um, with this 16-35 to lens. But I'm also going to be testing out this bad boy, the 55 1.8. It's
If you guys have noticed, I've been shooting a lot more film lately and that is all done on this Olympus Mew 2 camera and honestly this baby is beautiful um, and it's a point and shoot film camera and I do so much with it. It's awesome. Damn, I hate having to bring so many cameras but probably my vlog camera just because I don't know when I'm not going to need it. Literally the worst thing about being a photographer is you never know what's going to happen so you need to always pack for that. Um, probably a speaker just to have it for music I guess and this would be good. Now the challenge is going to be packing all this in my backpack. Even though I said it's a bigger backpack, it doesn't feel like it's a bigger backpack because I'm still struggling to get everything in. But that's the tea. Other than that, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it wasn't too crazy. I just wanted to show you guys what I pack when I go home. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Comment down any more videos you guys want to see. And as always, don't stress. Finesse.